In this lab tutorial, I will talk about how to use a oscilloscope to measure AC voltage. Let's look at this simple circuit. The AC power supply generates 10 volts peak to peak at 1 kilohertz sinusoids. So the peak value should be 10 divided by 2, that is 5, 5 volts peak. Cosine, the frequency is 1 kilohertz. The reading frequency should be 2 pi times 1,000 reading per second. So omega t plus 0 degrees. Generally, we assume the power supply is a reference, so the phase angle is 0 degrees. To measure the AC voltage, we need to measure both the magnitude and also phase angle. For such a simple circuit, let's assume that we're interested in the voltage across the resistor, Vr. So we want to measure both the voltage magnitude and phase angle for Vr. Firstly, let's try to calculate Vr theoretically. For the sinusoidal steady state voltage, we can use phasor domain to calculate the result. So let's convert the circuit into phasor domain. 10 volts peak to peak. So I can write 10 at 0 degrees here. Notice the voltage is peak to peak. The impedance for capacitor is 1 over J omic C. Here the frequency is 1 kilohertz, so the omega should be 2 pi times 1 k in reading per second. 2 pi times 1,000. Capacitance is 0 0.1 microfarad, so 0 0.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So that is 1,590 ohms, negative J 1.15. 9 kilo. We know the resistance impedance is just the resistance, so 1 kilo. To calculate the voltage across the resistor, firstly we can calculate the current through the resistor. The current multiplied by the resistance should be the voltage, Vr. So Vr should be I times R. For such a simple circuit, the current through the capacitor and the resistor is just the total voltage across the two components over the total impedance in the circuit. So the voltage is 10 at 0 degrees. The two components are in series. So the impedance should be the impedance ZC plus the impedance of the resistor. In phasor domain, the voltage is the current times the resistance. So we can calculate that is 5.32 at 57.9 degrees. Here is a peak to peak value. 5.32 is still the peak to peak value, so we put VPP here. We can convert the phasor into time domain, the sinusoidal voltage. So the peak value should be the peak to peak divided by 2. So 5.32 5 divided by 2, that is 2.66, cosine 2 pi times 1,000 plus 57.9 degrees. Notice to measure the voltage, AC voltage, we need to know the voltage amplitude and also the phase angle. The frequency should be the same frequency as the power supply. So we, we, know it's we know it already, it's 1 kilohertz. So let's try to measure the magnitude and phase angle separately. For oscilloscope, which has more than two channels here, generally we can connect one of the channels to the power supply. Here we can connect the first channel across the power supply. Notice the ground lead of the probe should be connected to the negative terminal of the power supply.
So the ground lead is connected here. So the other lead is connected at this point. So channel one is across the power supply. The second channel is across the voltage across, uh, across the resistor because we're interested in the voltage across the resistor. One of the leads of the probe. The ground lead should be connected here. Notice for the two channels, the ground leads should be connected together because they are really grounded internally inside the scope. So after we connect in this way, we can make, a, our, make the measurements. So firstly, let's build the simple circuit, power supply, capacitor, and resistor. Here is the power supply. It's across the two components. The first channel probe, ground lead. The second channel of the scope is across the resistor. The two channels are connected to the scope. Channel 1 is the power supply. We make it 10 volts peak to peak. So firstly, we click on auto scale, then quick measure. We need to select channel 2. That is the voltage across the resistor. So let's see, we select channel 2 here. Click on this button, then source 2. Measure peak to peak. The peak to peak value is shown on the scope display. Then we can select phase angle here. Select phase, measure phase. So it's 55 degrees. Notice to measure the phase angle accurately, we need to have a good display on the scope. Actually, we can adjust the scope display by adjusting this time control knob. To measure the phase angle, we need to show at least one period of the waveform on the scope. So we can adjust the time control knob. So finally, our result, measured result is 5.37 volts peak to peak, and the phase angle is 55 degrees. So let's compare with the theoretical result. So our measured value is, I use VR prime indicate that is measured value. So the peak to peak value is 5.37 volts. So divided by two, that is the peak value. Phase angle is 55 degrees. So we have measured both, both the voltage magnitude and phase angle. So let's repeat the important procedure to measure the AC voltage. We build the circuit first. Then we connect the first channel of the scope across the power supply. The second channel of the scope is across the resistor because we're interested in the voltage across the resistor. It is quite important that we need to connect the two probe ground leads together. So here are the measured values. Peak to peak value and also phase angle.